Yes, the winner of the Guest Booker Challenge 2, as concluded a couple weeks ago, actually. If you guys saw the video where I said that the thing was wrapping up. Um, but yes, GPC 2 is concluded after many months. Too many months. <laughs> um, and yes, I've given it to Santa's Robin 24 for his booking of TNA from Bound for Glory 06 to Bound for Glory 07. Which barely, 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 barely beat out um, uh, Miss, uh, Mr. Lucid LJ, Mr. and Mr. Wrestling Inc. Um, two very good. Uh, Mr. Wrestling Inc. was uh, ECW, rebooking that. Uh, their pay per views, which is a very good system they set up. Mr. Lucid LJ, he does. <laughs> He does this shit well. He rebooked a 2002 ROH. Very interesting stuff right there. Um, and for Santa Dawn 24, I gave it to him. Um, he just kind of, you know, he booked it well. He pushed guys well. Um, he did the matches right. Um, he fixed what TNA didn't do. Um, all that kind of stuff. And that brings me to why I'm making this video portion. I didn't originally intend on adding on a video. But, um, I got a comment, uh, from just recently on that original, uh, announcement video from Muscular Museum 08. Uh, thank you very much, Muscular Museum. People who do these booking challenges need to tell what people what they're looking for. Nobody ever says what they're looking for in these entries. Do you want dream matches? Good storylines? Consistency? Logical booking? The last booking challenge was one because you wanted to see it. I get that, so what if I get that, so what if someone else books a push? Somebody could make new stars the right way and lose out because somebody else had a dream match. Uh, it's not a big deal, just something to think about. Uh, first of all, again, thank you, Muscular Museum 08, for the comment. Um, and uh, I, I totally understand. Uh, that comment, I, I have never explained my criteria super well, um, but it, honestly, my criteria is a mix of, uh, of, of those things that you mentioned. Um, when I mentioned it last time in the, uh, when I chose, uh, Lucid LJ, then Lucid LJ, now Mr. Lucid LJ, in the original Guest Booker Challenge, uh, when he was my pick for number one, um, it wasn't just because he had dream matches. It was his dream matches that put him over the top. Um, that was that. I, I do consider a mix of everything, but I totally understand. Um, I totally understand that you know I should have uh, explained my criteria more. So there's that. And um, muscular, muscular Museum 08. Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you. You know, that's what's nice about YouTube wrestling community here. You know. We can be constructive, you know. Even if we don't, even if we don't think we want to hear it, you know, maybe it's good, and it is something like this. So that's a prime example of what's what's good about YouTube when people when people treat it right and are constructive. So thank you, sir. All right, congratulations, Sandra Rob Sandra Robin twenty four. You get the super plug of doom, um, <laughs> and also Mr. Wrestling Inc. Mr. Lucid LJ. Um, Two two very good guys. Um, uh, Mr. Wrestling Inc., please make more videos. Please make more videos uh, about wrestling. Um, keep making damn movie reviews. Like, yeah, whatever, Machete was bad. Get your ass together. Alright, <laughs> sorry. Double Cross King, stay classy, everybody.